Hola, tis I, Alicia. How are you? Uh, one of you lovelies, you know who you are. You asked me to do a reading on Sean Doherty. He was a 12 year old boy who passed away unexpectedly and it was kind of suspicious um, circumstances in Yorktown, Virginia. This was April 14th, 2022. So we've just passed a year as I'm recording this, April 21st, 2023. He was a smart little boy. He was sweet. He loved to play his video games. He loved Disney, Star Wars, all that stuff. He lived with his mother, his stepfather, his grandmother, older sister, and two half brothers. And the family had recently come back from a Disney cruise and were preparing to move to DC. On the day of his passing, he arrived home from school and submitted a homework assignment. His mother called him to play video games with friends and he was told to finish his chores first, include taking out the trash. However, he stopped in the middle of doing his chores and his sister found him suspended from a family swing set a few hours later, if you get my drift. His passing was ruled um, S-word, but there were several strange details, such as his arms being tightly bound, a motorcycle bag covering his head, and a shoelace-sized string around his neck. Additionally, his clothing and glasses were missing, and his younger brother reported seeing a man or a friend of a friend of the family, I guess, in the house during this time. Uh, the case is I, apparently still under investigation. I don't know. Well. I haven't checked. This is just my notes I got briefly. I don't want to know too much about the case. So let's see what we can find out. Really? You didn't want to go back in there, huh? There we go. Oh, I don't like that. Now this didn't happen to him. This card here, this did not happen that we know of. He was just found, but the thing that kind of got me is the bag there in that those were taken. They weren't found with him. Perhaps they were dumped in the water. Or disposed of in fire, who knows? Okay, this is like, oh God. That's weird. Hmm. That's very weird. All right, let's bring out the uh, tokens. Come on down. Why do I think this is someone like, they say it's a man or a friend in the house during this time. And why do I think this is some type of person that works at a school like a tutor or something like that. <clears throat> you know, we get the school card here and then we get this uh, SK card here and there's the books, the school books, right? That's weird. travel <clears throat> excuse me 122 innocence which that would be sean the desire to take his innocence god only knows uh suitcase travels in sight that's why i think this 
this card, not necessarily the words, but there's a bag like they took, I guess we'll say souvenirs with them. And then we have the lips being happy. Okay. I'm sure if they're a psychopath. And then, of course, you have the books for learning and studying. Okay. All right. Obviously, there, this has got to be an issue, but let's see. That's interesting with the um, engagement ring there because there's a commitment. So I think someone would say that the culprit, whoever did this, is already, they know very well about these issues. Been in treatment, currently in treatment, maybe on some type of protocol. We have, no, 103, outdoors vacation. I think they just left. I think that's what this is. It just, they take this stuff, travel, leave, they go, they go after this happened. It feels very calm. And then this says, this was April, but this Holly Sprig is protection divinity or Christmas or December, but that's why I think this is somebody who works with children. You know, they're protected. We're supposed to believe that they are caring about our kids when they're in school or doing activities, things like that. <sighs> this is getting me creeped out. Let's see here, since we have these two. Move this over here. Loyal companion with the dog. Ghost. Ghost of the past. Take notes. And we have the moon, which is uh, illusion. All right, this makes sense. Going along with this, this is like some trusted, in my opinion, allegedly, entertainment purposes. Uh, this is some trusted friend, teacher, person. Again, it's some t that's why I think it's like a tutor, someone who's helping in schoolwork. Because it's like, here's the notes. Take the notes. or studying. We're going to school. We're learning. Oh, I'm, I take a keen interest in you, Sean. And here I am. I'm kind of always hanging around, you know? Yuck. All right. I don't, let's see what the spouse partner means. One oh two. That's ESP. Yeah, using their intuition, which we have intuition here. Maybe he doesn't have a spouse or partner. As, well, he sure as heck wouldn't have a spouse because he's 12. I don't even know that they said he had like a little girlfriend or anything. So there's the school bus. music 13 that's a grand piano fine music pianist wealth social status what is this is this this person's got a spouse or partner that's got an idea and inkling that this person's so no bueno all right let's see what's missing He's missing from the nuclear family. There's money. A witch. A witch and a lantern. What's the witch about? Occult, knowledge, intuitive, spell casting, 
and inner journey solitude seeking the light within and we have the money okay this goes here with this the culprit has a spouse or partner perhaps they're a music teacher perhaps they're a musician something maybe that's their hobby i don't know they have an inkling about their partner who did this shit this person went off on a trip or uh i gotta clear my mind um maybe we'll dig into this one now i gotta clear my mind there's like missing monies there's like this is not the crime committed against sean is not the only shady ass thing this person does and this partner to this person they have an idea because it's like money goes missing um nuclear family which is i'm curious about that because it's okay because it could be also scientifically and material minded oh so if it's not nuclear family scientifically materially minded could go back to this whole idea right of i'm the math teacher or tutor or i'm the science tutor or whatever knowing that there's something wrong going on here there's an inkling okay Okay, <clears throat> so this is like, I believe we've got two crossing time things happening here at the same time. Sean passes on. At the same time, I don't know why, but this is like, there's wedding bells, there's love, and you know, making a wish, the genie lamp. How else do they say that? Expect a miracle, wish wisely. But there's love here. It's almost like at the same time, they're getting married. And the person they're getting married to is starting to wonder, like, who the hell did I marry? This is weird. There's a lot of people talking. Now, this makes me, this is like one of the weirder readings I've done. These usually come up in regards to perpetrators and why they're doing their crime this is now i'm starting to think this spouse or partner's got an inkling of what's going on they're not saying anything so let's see what's the regret it's a ticking time bomb it's sad they're trying to hammer out details Excuse me. That was a heck of a sneeze. Jealousy with the bed. Medita meditation, contemplation, kind of like sitting there and stewing. There's 41. Flexibility, creativity, impatient, unpredictability. Strong. I'm not even sure. What does that jealousy mean? Who is the jealous one here? Excuse me? Is this, like, you know that movie, Natural Born K's with Woody Harrelson? You know that movie? Like, I don't remember it. That was so back in the day. I haven't watched that in eons. However, 
I think it's like, if I remember correctly, tell me in the comments, it's a couple who gets like, this is their, uh, you know, hobby. That's what this is now feeling like. So this person has an idea. They know something's going on. This, there's like a regret here, which is interesting. Regret. Now, I thought it was like, oh, this person has a soul and they're regretting like, oh, I'm starting to think my, my partner's a psycho. Now it's starting to feel like, oh, I'm, I'm so jealous my psycho partner went out and did this without me. All right, let's, what's, what's water and fire? Protection. Someone's older? What? That's weird. So underwater I have the umbrella, which is protection, and then I got dentures? Age factor, older person. I wonder if this partner's like too old to be going out and doing shady things. That's weird. Uh, we have the peace dove. And one of a kind, original, unique winter. Mm. And Saturn delays working methodically, karma. Okay. They made a choice not to do it this time or something, but they're jealous that they didn't participate in this. I can't. This is like, um, the fire has to do with like some type of weird ritual in their mind where uh, you know what? Let me see this one. 64 arrow. I want to say it's like messages or notes or something. Setting goal success. Sending messages. This is, and they're like covering it up. They're destroying this, right? This is a cleansing, like if I'm burning sage over this. Like after, maybe this is like where Sean's um, clothing and glasses are missing. This sicko takes them. I don't know if they burn them or not, but I don't feel like they're burning. I feel like they're burning like they're... Um, like they write down in a piece of paper, kind of like our little pencil here icon, like they write down like, okay, this is what I'm going to do, setting goals um, for being this type of SK over here at some point. This, oh my gosh, this is horrid. <sighs> okay, hold on. I'm going to clear these out and we're going to see what else we can find out. So let's clarify, how does Sean know this perpetrator?
He doesn't have a choice in how he knows the perpetrator. And it's almost as if like this person's like, oh, hey, you wanna, I've got a new program. You wanna join my program? Uh, I think you'd be great for it. Or, or come into my class or you don't, well, this is not joining a program. I don't, could be, I guess. Let me see, this is, drama faces that's all this other stuff is telling me about like this whoever this is is obviously put on a mask to him like yeah buddy i'm your friend of course like he's putting on a complete show total show and he's lying to the authorities about his role oh i was never there oh i don't know that kid that well oh xyz mm -mm. But a lot of people are talking about this. So how does he meet this person? This person that acts like a parental figure, a trusted adult that you can listen to, that you can trust. It's, it's the key to all of this. like a permanent fixture like if this is not like somebody that everybody in the family knows is somebody like everybody in the community knows this is like someone who's just oh yeah so smart you know <sighs> you know one of those people that everybody puts up on a pedestal like oh gosh yeah they're just super xyz This person thinks they've gotten away with it though. They've lied to the police, they've snookered them, and now they're like over here feeling very proud of themselves. Gosh, I can't, I cannot figure out how they met. Let's, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get out Madhouse Tarot. Maybe that'll clear up who this person is. All right, we got Madhouse Tarot deck. It has a list of psychological uh, things here that I've written on little notes for myself because A, I'm not a mental health clinician. B, uh, I'm not going to remember all that. There's too much stuff in my brain right now to remember, so I look at the notes for it. So, perpetrator, do this to Sean. What can we know about you? How can someone figure out who this person is, Sean? Oh, I forgot I need to keep track of where there are nakedy people. Better get my crystals out. In case you need crystals, you can come to aliciawicker.com and get some. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay, nine. Oh, there's one. the outer personality generally how this person is perceived by the rest of the world you have the tower card and the hanged man surface level is just like a disastrous person who just you know 
whatever. So the tower says condition of brain injuries, obsession with predominant ideas, manifestations of increased aggression or cruelty, which I guess we could say um, can tie into being that serial thing. And the hanged man, uh, sus substance or addiction issues, victim complex, inclination to martyrdom, fanaticism, wrong beliefs, illusions, meditative mode of thinking. This is why everybody thinks he's smart, because he's quiet and he thinks. He plots. Ugh. Emotional characteristics. The sun. Infantilism. That makes sense, because he's hanging out with kids. Egocentrism, self-admiration, perfectionism, addiction to fame. He wants all the kids to admire him, to love him. Oh, you're the best, Mr. Whoever. Oh, yeah, you're great. Ugh. Ugh. Intellectual characteristics. Nine of Wands. Fear of intimacy. Yeah, because if you knew his deep down darkest secrets, you would not know. Unless you're his apparent partner who's jealous they didn't get to participate. This is characteristics of their financial standings. Queen of Wands. Hysterical manifestations. Manipulativeness. That's why the, there's the money's going and disappearing. And then that's why the other one's like, where's the money? Oh, I don't know. It must be a bank error. Sure. We have life tendency for the next 10 to 15 years. We have king of coins collecting. Uh oh, that would be like collecting souvenirs. That's not good. Uh, seven, secret desires. Five of coins, depression, craving for self-destruction, self-harm, severe forms of addiction. There's not just, they're a bottomless pit. There's nothing that can fill that hole in their soul. Gross, gross, gross. Obstacles. Two of swords. Distracted attention. Difficulties in making decisions. Which is interesting. Two of swords. How did Sean know this perpetrator? Two of swords. It's almost as if, like, it could have been Sean. It could have been any other kid he had close access to or felt like he could get in there. Interesting. But... This is talking about his general obstacles, difficulty in making decisions, disassociative disorders, schizophrenic. Okay, let's see. Negative character traits, ace of swords, fixation on obsessive ideas, violence, and fear, feverish excitement. If he doesn't have a knife fetish, I would be shocked. And... Um, we have seven of wands here. This is their obsession, their ambitious stuff. Painful attachments to mother, mommy issues. Wonder if this is like they do this to hurt mothers? No, that's not it. What does the mommy issues have to do? Mommy issues. It's like a... Is it a recreation? There's something there. Like, it's like the recreation of maybe what happened to them. They put it in a box, but things that were done to them by mommy, they're acting out. Ooh, they're acting out mommy issues. I don't know. That one's a stumper. Mm. Okay, so let's see. Let's ask if this has happened again. Is there another victim of this perpetrator?
Yeah. And he's working on his next one. Through his institution where he is a trusted adult. There's people, though, that have some suspicions about him. And I, I still continue to get it's a him, just like I did in the Koberger case where everybody's like, yeah, do you know it's a him? I don't know. I'd sense it. This is a dude. There's a lot of gossip about this guy, though. Like, people are, like, something's arise, arisen suspicions and people, when they're noticing him, like, something ain't quite right. It's not enough for them to do anything about it, apparently, but, yeah. Now, he... He's done this in the past, and I think it was a close call with him getting caught. I don't know what that is, what it's like doing this and somebody comes home, or if this is like doing this and getting caught with evidence, or like close call, like close call with him. Like he's done this again, and there's a close call. Um... I'm almost wondering, like, th with this idea here, the Nine of Wands in reverse, if he's getting ready, <clears throat> he wants attention, like, you know, the famous SKs of the world. Almost like, well, no one's paying attention to my work. But he's working again. He's, he's making the list, like, that we saw that he, like, burns in the fire. He's making a list. He's studying. He's, he's getting his next crime planned out he's already looking at how he's going to do it i don't think he's brought the partner in yet i wonder if it's because of the age issues and the partner's like too old to participate or would slow him down this is independent operator however doing it within some type of institution so he's definitely still working doing whatever he can to get close enough to his prey so okay he he's ready to go again so pray for sean and his family that's horrible this is psycho unbelievable all right with that thank you so much for watching join me in the moon moth manor and i will see you next time adios